Hi and welcome to GFX. Today I'm going to show you how to build a review scraper for Google Play and App Store. In front of me I have an application which is uh, available on App Store and Google Play. As you can see it has approximately 1000 reviews. So we will extract all of these reviews from Google Play and App Store for later analysis. To develop this I'll be using Azure Data Studio, but you can use Jupyter Notebooks, Visual Studio Code, or whatever ID you prefer. So, in the beginning, let's create a new notebook. I will select Python 3. Okay. Then we will go to the packages and we need to install some packages we which we will need for this project. The first one is pandas. Then it's numpy. Okay, then we need the Google Play Scraper and also an App Store Scraper. Okay, we have installed all the dependencies. Now we can write some code. Let's copy paste some of the imports that we need. So let's run the first part. Okay, we don't have any errors. After we have added all the inputs that we need, then we need to add another code cell. And let's copy paste this part of code. Okay. So this method will extract all the reviews from the Google Play. The first parameter that we need to add is the package name. So we will take that one from here. So this is the package name for that application. Okay, the language is English by default and also the country is USA. For the App Store reviews, we need the, uh, the package name again. Let's copy paste the package name. And then we need the app ID as a third parameter. So the app ID, you can find it in here. Let's take this part and add it in here. And let's play this one. Great, we don't have any errors. Okay, so now I will copy paste another piece of code. Okay, so we have a data frame which takes all the reviews from the Google Play. Then um, I will drop some columns from uh, the list because those are not relevant for analysis. And I, I will also rename some of the columns um using uh, the rename function for example uh, score will be rating username will be username in snake case and so on so if i run this piece of code as you can see i already have the reviews from the google play then let's add another piece of code And let's take all the reviews from the App Store. The App Store has um, some other columns which are not included in the data set which is coming from the Google Play. And I also drop those columns. So uh, we have the same number of columns and uh, the name should be the same because 
uh, later on I will uh, unify this uh, into one single data frame so if I'm running this piece of code as you can see we have the reviews from the App Store for this application and what should we do as the next step is just to combine the combine the two data frames into one so I have the Google Play reviews and I have the App Store reviews combined to one single data frame so now with this you can store it in a file import in Power BI or whatever reporting tool um, are you using and that's it